In the realm of Hollywood stardom, amidst the glitz and glamour, there exists a luminary whose talents have illuminated the silver screen like a radiant comet streaking across the night sky. Join us on an enthralling journey as we unveil the mesmerizing biography of an actress who effortlessly balances grace, versatility, and raw talent, Kira Knightley. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Kira Christina Knightley was born on March 26, 1985 in the London suburb of Teddington, to stage actors Will Knightley and Sharma MacDonald. She was meant to be named Kira, the anglicized form of Kira, after the Soviet figure skater Kira Ivanova, whom her father admired, however, MacDonald misspelt the name when she registered her daughter's birth certificate, writing the E before the I. Her father is English and her mother is of Scottish and Welsh descent. Knightley has an older brother, Caleb. MacDonald worked as a playwright after her acting career came to an end. Knightley's parents encountered substantial financial difficulties following the birth of her brother, her father, middling actor, agreed to a second child only if her mother sold a script first. However, her parents' varying degrees of success did not deter Knightley's curiosity about the profession. MacDonald introduced her own children to theater and ballet very early. This inspired Knightley's interest in acting. Knightley attended Teddington School. She was diagnosed with dyslexia at age 6, but by the time she was 11, with her parents' support, she says, they deemed me to have got over it sufficiently. She is still a slow reader and cannot read out loud. Knightley has said she was single-minded about acting. At age 3, she requested to obtain an agent like her parents and secured one at 6. This led to her taking a number of small parts in television dramas. She acted in a number of local amateur productions, which included After Juliet, written by her mother, and United States, written by her drama teacher. Knightley began studying her A-levels at Esher College, but left after a year to pursue an acting career. Her mother's friends encouraged her to go to drama school, which she declined for financial and professional reasons. Her acting career at the age of six, when she obtained an agent and began working in commercials and small television roles. Her first on-screen appearance was in the 1993 Screen 1 television episode titled Royal Celebration. She then played Natasha Jordan, a young girl whose mother is involved in an extramarital affair, in the romantic drama A Village Affair, 1995. She had a minor role as Sabe in the space opera Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, 1999. Her breakthrough came when she played a tomboy footballer in the sports film Bend It Like Beckham, 2002, and went on to achieve global stardom for playing Elizabeth Swan in the swashbuckler fantasy series Pirates of the Caribbean, beginning in 2003. She appeared in the romantic comedy Love Actually, 2003, and was labeled a promising teen star. For her portrayal of Elizabeth Bennett in the period romance Pride and Prejudice, 2005, Knightley was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress. She starred in a number of more period pieces, playing a complex love interest in Atonement, 2007, Tastemaker Georgiana Cavendish in The Duchess, 2008, and the titular socialite in Anna Karenina, 2012. She forayed into contemporary dramas, appearing as an aspiring musician in Begin Again, 2013, and a medical student in Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, 2014. Knightley returned to historical films playing Joan Clark in The Imitation Game, 2014, earning her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, and starred as the eponymous writer in Colette, 2018. Kira Knightley has been married to musician James Wrighton since 2013. They have two daughters together. Before Wrighton, Knightley dated a few notable actors, including Jamie Dornan and Rupert Friend. She and Dornan met on the set of the 2003 film Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and they dated for two years. After their breakup, Knightley met Friend on the set of the 2005 film Pride and Prejudice, and they dated for five years. In 2011, Knightley met Ryden, who is the lead singer of the band The Claxons. They started dating shortly after, and they got engaged in May 2012. They were married in a small ceremony in France in May 2013. Knightley and Ryden have two daughters together, Edie, born in 2015, and Delilah, born in 2019. They live in London. Knightley has said that she is a private person and that she prefers to keep her personal life out of the spotlight. However, she has spoken about her relationship with Ryden on a few occasions. She has said that he is her best friend and that she is very happy with him. 
In an interview with The Telegraph in 2015, Knightley said that she and Ryden have a very normal relationship. She said that they cook, we clean, we do the school run, we go to the park. She also said that they are very supportive of each other's careers. Knightley and Ryden seem to be very happy together. They are a private couple, but they have shared some glimpses into their relationship with the public. They seem to be very supportive of each other, and they seem to have a strong foundation for their family. Beyond the silver screen, Kira immersed herself in various hobbies that fueled her creativity. From painting to exploring new horizons, her interests showcased her multidimensional nature. With her talent and charisma, off-screen, Jeffrey McNabb of The Independent describes Knightley as sensible and self-deprecating, and Elizabeth Day of Harper's Bazaar says of Knightley's persona, she is extremely nice, swears more than you might think and, yes, effortlessly beautiful. Writing for The New York Times, Jessie McKinley stated that Knightley is known for her ability to sparkle and charm in several accents, while her Therese Raquin co-star, Judith Light, praised her down-to-earth demeanor, intelligence and sense of humor. Her public image became synonymous with elegance and poise, captivating both fans and fashion enthusiasts. Beyond her artistic prowess, Kira Knightley used her platform to make a positive impact. She is a vocal advocate for a number of causes, including gender equality, environmentalism, and human rights. She is a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador and has spoken out about the importance of women's rights on numerous occasions. She has also worked with organizations such as Oxfam and Amnesty International to raise awareness of global poverty and injustice. In 2014, Knightley was one of the founding members of the Time's Up movement, which is a campaign to combat sexual harassment and inequality in the workplace. She has also spoken out about her own experiences with sexual harassment, and she has urged other women to come forward and share their stories. Knightley is also a strong advocate for environmentalism. She is a member of the Natural Resources Defense Council and has spoken out about the importance of protecting the planet. She has also starred in a number of environmental awareness campaigns. In addition to her advocacy work, Knightley is also a philanthropist. She has donated money to a number of charities, including the British Red Cross and the Elton John AIDS Foundation. She has also set up her own foundation, the Kira Knightley Foundation, which supports projects that promote gender equality and education. Knightley's advocacy and philanthropy are an important part of her work as an actress. She uses her platform to raise awareness of important issues and to help make a difference in the world. Kira Knightley's journey includes moments of introspection and contemplation. Her thoughts on spirituality and her beliefs offer a deeper understanding of the woman behind the roles. Knightley was the celebrity face for the luxury goods brands Asprey and Shiatsi Chin as well as Lux hair care products in Japanese television commercials. In April 2006, she was confirmed as the new celebrity face of Chanel's perfume Coco Mademoiselle, though the first photo from the campaign was not released until May 2007. Knightley has appeared in television commercials for Chanel directed by Joe Wright since 2007, and has endorsed Chanel Fine Jewelry's collection Coco Crush. In 2008, Knightley was the highest-earning British Hollywood star according to the Forbes Celebrity 100 list and was named amongst the most bankable actors in. Knightley has starred in a number of successful films, including Bend It Like Beckham, 2002, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003, Pride and Prejudice, 2005, Atonement, 2007, The Duchess, 2008, Anna Karenina, 2012, and The Imitation Game, 2014. She has received two Academy Award nominations, two BAFTA Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, one Screen Actors Guild Award, and one Laurence Olivier Award. Here is a list of Kira Knightley's acting credits and awards. Film Bend It Like Beckham, 2002 Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003 Love Actually, 2003 King Arthur, 2004 Television Screen One, Royal Celebration, 1993 A Village Affair, 1995 Oliver Twist, 1999 Academy Award Best Supporting Actress Nomination for Atonement, 2007 BAFTA Award Best Actress Nomination for Pride and Prejudice, 2005 Screen Actors Guild Award Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Leading Role Nomination for Atonement, 2007 Laurence Olivier Award 
Best Actress in a Supporting Role nomination for The Misanthrope, 2009. And there you have it, a glimpse into the captivating life of Kira Knightley. From her early days in the industry to her illustrious career and philanthropic endeavors, Kira continues to shine as a beacon of talent and compassion. We hope you enjoyed this journey with us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more exciting biographies like this one. Until next time. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. See you again the next video.